So I have this huge 32 ounce container of aloe vera juice and I've already made a leave-in conditioner but I need to think of different ways to use this. I know you can drink it, I know you can use it just as a spray, um, leave-in spray. However, I figured I would do a pre-poo. So I took about a cup of aloe vera juice and some olive oil, okay, about one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. And then I have some coconut oil. This is what the aloe vera juice looks like in the package here. Excuse me, Ziploc bag. You can see the oil floating on top due to the molecular weight is heavier than aloe vera juice, of course. I'm gonna put this, I'm trying to think, I don't wanna put this in a spray bottle. I want my hair to basically soak in this, so I may have to like put this in a bowl. What I'm gonna do, you guys, what you're gonna see me do is section my hair off, put my hair in mm. twists, and literally dip my twist in this oil olive vera juice mixture then i'm gonna lather each section in coconut oil apply some plastic bags to my hair leave that on for a couple of hours and then you're going to see me rinse out the actual um make sure what this does olive vera juice helps to balance the ph the ph is very similar to your hair excuse me so what i think this is going to be good for one it's going to make my hair soft and moisturized but this is also good if you have thinning hair if you looking to um having your hair to grow which we all are right so yes next up you're going to see me apply the olive vera juice and then the coconut oil all right you guys so i'm working on old dry hair i'm going to lightly spray my hair with water before i apply the acv mixture now i'm going to dip my hair in the actual mixture i would typically do this in the shower because i and i didn't want to use a spray bottle because i want my hair saturated with the liquid okay sectioning my hair off doing a light finger detangle and then I'm going to twist my hair a medium sized twist, like I said, to make it easier to dip it in the mixture. Um, yeah, this was a little bit messy, but as I stated earlier, you would typically, or at least I would personally do this in the shower. Paying close attention to my ends also. So this is with um, my hair all in twist, girl. I got <laughs> the back, my backdrop got a little splash on it. So right now I'm applying the coconut oil and it is cooler out here. So the coconut oil is in a solid form. If I had the time, I would whip the coconut oil so it would be fluffy, but that is okay. Now I am pinning my hair up and I'm getting ready to put on the plastic bag. Since I have a big head and I have a lot of hair, I typically have to use two plastic bags, but that's okay, that's okay. I knew I would have to use um, two. Like I said, pinning my hair up or clipping my hair up, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the plastic bags and put those on. I left this mixture on my hair for about two hours, to be quite honest, because I had some things to do around the house, which is okay. I've read where other women have left the mixture on overnight. If you want to do that, I think that would be fine too. If you want to use heat, I think that would be okay. So here I am in the shower. You guys know how much I love doing videos in the shower. And now I'm just going to rinse it all out. And I will honestly have to say, this was very, very soft. I love how simple this pre-poo was and just giving you a close-up of what my hair looks like. Typically, I like to use coconut milk in my pre-poo, but I didn't this time. I just used what I had on hand, and yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to continue to rinse out the pre-poo. You're going to see some close-ups of my hair, a little bit of hair pouring too towards the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Take care. Bye.